All right, and finally we have come to the last simulation of the day. We are going to be looking at Newton's law of gravitation and its effect on planetary orbits. So we're going to be going through these instructions here, and we are on question number 18 in the web simulator activity. So we're going to be looking at the answers for this data table and then using them to answer question number 19. So the first thing it says to do is go into the simulator and click on Newton's feature tab. All right, so Newton's Newtonian features tab is right here. The next step it says is in visualization options, be sure to turn on orbits, planets, and labels. Awesome. Then it says we are going to start with the planet Mercury. So we have it defaults to Mercury and we're gonna click okay. And then it says we're gonna go ahead and start the animation and watch what happens. So there is Mercury. And what you're going to notice is, it says fill in the answers on the data table. You're going to notice that these letters for velocity versus acceleration change. And that's with planet Mercury. If I slow down the animation rate just a tad, just so you can see how that looks, it might help you answer the questions a little bit easier. So you can watch Mercury complete one ro um, revolution around the sun, and that should help you answer the questions. All right, the next thing, so you might wanna pause the video there. The next thing it says is then you're going to go to Pluto. And um, we're gonna go ahead and reset the animation for Pluto. So here we go to Pluto and be sure to click OK. And now once again, here's Pluto and it appears um, as if it's not moving, but the animation is truly running. Um, and so Pluto is just moving that slowly. So if you look very carefully at the cursor, you can see that the little dot is definitely moving and the velocity and the acceleration numbers are going to be slowly shifting. So if I speed up the animation rate, well, it looks like it's not helping too much. Well, there it goes. All right, so if I speed up the animation rate, you can see what's happening for Pluto. And as it makes one complete revolution around this yellow dot here or the sun, you're noticing the velocity and the acceleration numbers are changing. So I'm going to go ahead and let Pluto make one complete revolution around the sun. And we started way out here just so that you can see these velocities and acceleration numbers change. So at any time in the orbit around the sun, you can click pause if you need to record the numbers for your lab. And while you're waiting for it to do that, be sure you notice this blue line right here stands for velocity. And this red line here stands for the acceleration. And it's showing you the pattern from beginning to end for dwarf planet Pluto. So Pluto has almost made its way around the sun by speeding up the animation. And that's a wrap. Finish up the rest of the questions on your lab and have a great day.